Let's begin the year right. Let's begin the year with health. You know, God wants you healthy. I believe in healing, in divine healing, of course, and I go to the world and travel and preach the gospel, and I will continue doing that till the day God takes me home. I also believe in health because the scripture says, I wish above all things you prosper and be in health. Dr. Wallach is back. You know, we've had so many people enjoy you so much. I said, you know what? I'm going to have the doctor back because so many people have ordered your books and your CDs and they're talking about you. Doc, you've caused quite a stir and I love it. What is it about you that people like? I mean, is it your personality, your age, the Probably way you not. talk? What is it? <laughs> Probably not. My, you have the personality, Pastor. Oh, I you? think you do. No, no, no. But anyways, I mean, you have caused such a stir, dog. Well, I think it's the message. And, of course, you know, it's, it's biblical. My people are destroyed for lack of no, knowledge. No, of course, yeah. Yes, of course. And so um, this is a message that's thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. This is a message that goes back to the beginning of time. And there are certain peoples that prospered health-wise. And why did God, do, it was always fascinating to me, Pastor Benny, why did God pick the Garden of Eden? Of all the places on earth, why did he pick that place to put Adam? And when you evaluate that, when you really look at it, that was not just any place. That was the most fertile place on earth. It was the most fertile place on earth. And why was that? Well, it's because it was surrounded by mountains. And the four rivers, the Tigris, the Euphrates, the Pishon, Dishon rivers, are bringing all this silt from the mountains down, was constantly refertilizing that soil. He picked them That's up. That's amazing, you know. Yeah. Now, Doc, mm -hmm. you know, today we see young people mm. dying with cancer. Mm. I mean, you know, please understand this, precious partners. You know, I've gone to the world, I've mm. preached the gospel around the world, and I have seen more sickness in the last 40 years of my life than I think any man alive. You know, and, and I love to see the power of God, but what really shakes me is sometimes I'll see someone who was healed five years ago, they're sick again with something mm -hmm. else. And is it because they're not eating right? It, it has to be, or is it something else? Well, it's, it's basically tied to what you eat, what you don't eat. Uh, again, why did God pick the Garden of Eden to put Adam? Uh, unfortunately, the nutritional elements that we need to, to maximize our lifespan, to live to be 120 as God commanded, and man's year shall be 120, that means you, that's a command, they shall be, that wasn't say, well, if you do right, you'll get there. And so um, what we have to do is understand that the nutritional minerals that we require as a human being, as a vertebrate, like a hummingbird or a man or an elephant, do not occur in equal and the same amounts over the crust of the earth. They occur in veins like chocolate and chalk ripple ice cream. When you look at the top 20 longevity cultures, interestingly enough, they're very faithful people. These are all people of God who live the longest. And by, you assume, either guidance or dumb luck, one or the other, probably a combination of dumb luck and guidance. They listened and they were guided to these places to live. They have everything they need to live to be 120. There's actually a cover article in the May 2013 National Geographic. It's a little girl, and it says, this girl will live to be 120. It just blows your mind because she happened to live in a place that has all the nutrients necessary to live to be 120. Now, her peoples didn't know that. They didn't analyze the soil, but they were guided by God to live there. Okay, but how, I mean, you know, here we are living in big cities. We're not living in Eden uh, or places like that girl is. How do we stay healthy? You see young people dying with cancer, diabetes, heart disease at young ages. I mean, that's shocking how many young people are suddenly getting these diseases that what it used to be that the older people got years ago. Exactly. Why? Well, because they bet on the wrong horse. What do you mean they bet on the wrong horse? They bet on the wrong horse. They went with the medical system instead of God. They Keep went, talking, okay. please. I want to hear that. System instead of God. Because if we would listen to God, then we would be doing all the right things. We would be doing all the right things that our body needs. When we went with the medical system, that's when things began to become destroyed. Because the medical system went all with pharmaceuticals. And, and Pastor Benny, if you look at the PDR, the physician's desk reference, it has 250,000 prescription drugs in it. With the exception of antibiotics, which can kill pneumonia, can kill strep throat, can, can cure things, with the exception of antibiotics, there's not a single pharmaceutical 
in the PDR, the physician's desk reference, that cures anything. Doctors are not under any command to cure a disease even when there's cures available. So they choose to treat you. If they treat you for 25 years, they might make $750,000 per person. If they exactly. cure you, they make 300 bucks. Yeah, exactly. And, and there is no money in health. There's no money in cure. There's That's no money correct. In and so I'm interested in, in God's stuff. I call it God's stuff. And over the years, since I was nine years old, and I know that God had to be part of this because a nine-year-old kid doesn't figure this out. And so when I figured it out when I was nine, it had to be a divine appointment. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, and so over these years, I've treated it as such and, and learned everything I could, and I shared. I mean, nutrition yes. really works. Of course. You know, I am convinced because it happened to me myself. But there is a, a, some amazing programs out there like Forks Over Knives and Food Matters. And today you're seeing, uh, you know, this thing proven over and mm -hmm. over that the, that the medicines people take is not really helping them. Like you said, they don't cure anything. They, they relieve symptoms, which make people temporarily comfortable. But and the side life. effects are so horrible. You know, I was watching a commercial mm -hmm. day before yesterday about some new pill, something, and they give you all the side effects that could happen to you mm -hmm. if you take it right on that commercial, which, of course, they have to. And I thought to myself, why take it? Oh, people are the risk of this and the risk of that. You may, you may end up dying just from the side effects. Oh, absolutely. That's one of the biggest um, side effects of these pharmaceuticals is death. Now, here, here's... How many people die a year in America from side effects? Of drugs? If you yeah. have drugs alone, a half a million. In the United States? Yes. Every year? Every year. That's a yearly figure. And the bigger figure is... From fi side effects? Of drugs. Yes, now, when yes, you look of course. at the bigger figure of side effects of treatments and side effects of care and lack of care from the directly attributed to doctors, not even washing their hands, simple things like that, is 15 million a year in America are killed, injured, and infected each year by doctors, killed, injured in their workplace. They don't even get an OSHA ticket. There's no consequences. So we have to spend more time considering God's direction than doctor's direction. That's why I say they bet on the wrong. Okay, side. now listen. Let me ask you. Yeah. Why... Well, let, let me just go back and ask, how do we prevent cancer in children, in young people, or any person? What do we do? Okay, there's two things we have to do, Pastor Benny. Number one, we have to stop the bad stuff. Number two, we have to do the good stuff. I mean, you've got to attack it from both ends. The good stuff, of course, is the 90 essential nutrients. Uh, we, we've known this, gosh, in the animal industry for 100 years. We've eliminated 900 different diseases and animals that still plague people. We've eliminated every birth defect you can name and 10 times that many you can't in animals that still plague people. Because what we did, we didn't have health insurance for animals, so we just had to fix the problems. On the other hand, we've been given a lot of misinformation on how to cook, how to eat, and this is killing us. For instance, Steve Jobs, billionaire, very smart guy, very smart guy when it came to marketing, when it came to techie stuff. Absolutely. He died at 56 years of age. The doctors killed him as sure as they shot him in the head. Are you sure on that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was because of doctors? Yes. That he died? Yes. Oh, well, how's that? Okay, well, first of all, he was an unsupplemented vegan. If you want to be a vegan, you can be a very successful vegan, but you have to supplement with the 90 essential nutrients because you can't get it in the food because they don't occur in an equal blanket around the crust of the earth. The only way... So, so you're not for vegetarians? Well, That no, people just go they can total be a vegetarian. Veggie. No, no, they can be a vegetarian, but they must supplement. It's the vegetarians who do not supplement are in trouble. Oh, but, but wait now, Doc. I, you know, I saw in some of these programs where somebody has cancer or diabetes and they reversed the disease with a vegetarian diet. Now, you're saying that's not really exactly smart. Well, it's possible with a little bit of addition here. You ever hear a guy by the name of Jay Cordish? No. Okay, he was kind of the original juice man. He had a terminal bladder cancer 60 years ago, and they told him he only had weeks to live and so forth. So he started juicing. And over the years, uh, he helped literally millions of people reverse their cancers, but he began to put the minerals in the juices to guarantee that there was a level playing field, that everybody got the same nutritional value. Okay. Because a carrot grown, say, in Imperial Cal uh, Valley, California, doesn't have the same nutrition in it as in the Garden State, New Jersey. It looks the same, but one might have 13 minerals, the other might have 60 minerals. And so the only way to, to level the playing field is a supplement. Now, if you're a supplemented vet, uh, vegetarian, supplemented vegan, you can be very successful. 
if you don't supplement, it's kind of hit and miss where you live. Some places you can be very successful. Other places you're going to be an abysmal failure. Well, Steve Jobs' problem was twofold. Number one, he got the very best five-star vegan chef who cooked everything for him in extra, 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 extra virgin, 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 <laughs> olive oil and coconut oil. Right. And he got pancreatic cancer from all the free radicals of all that heated oil. Got pancreatic. Then he made a oh. second possible worst mistake. Instead of going to Costa Rica, which are where the longest lived people live in the Western Hemisphere, and going to the oldest... In Costa Rica? Yes, sir. Why, why Costa Rica? Because that's where all the minerals are at. Really? I never heard that before. Yes. This is in the Western Hemisphere of the Earth. This is where the oldest people live. Really? Okay. Yes. Uh, did research for a book we call Immortality. We have the top 20 longevity cultures. Pastor Benny, they have... 40 times 100 year olds we do. They have 100 year old per 250, we have 100 year old per 10,000. Just simply because where they live. It's kind of like the Garden of Eden in the Western Hemisphere. So, but you can take that information and bring it to your own home. You don't have to go there. So this is where Steve Jobs made his mistake. He should have gone there instead of Harvard. Really, wow, and the he poor man died early because he- died he, at 56. And yet he was eating right. Well, he was eating correctly, but Again, a but he missed what the supplements. He, well, he missed the minerals. You see, a, a, an organic carrot might only have three minerals. You need sixty, and a vertebrate needs sixty, and so he couldn't get all sixty from what he was eating. Years ago, I decided to to cut all fats out. It almost killed me. Yes, and you're very and I had God to get loves the, you. huh? Yeah, God because honestly, I mean, I just cut all the fat out. Just thought maybe that will, will will help me. It didn't help me at all. It could give you Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a physician-caused really? physician disease, yes, sir. Wait, doc. Yes. Alzheimer's is, is, is caused by doctors, not by physician. diet? No, no, it's, it's physicians. Who told, How? Who told Americans to get on a cholesterol-restricted diet? Physicians. Who told doctors to take statin drugs to lower your cholesterol? Physicians. Well, <clears throat> I wrote a paper on that in 1971. I said, uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. This is not correct. You're going to get all kinds of problems here. Well, what happened was... People got Alzheimer's disease, they got low T, erectile dysfunction, because testosterone is a, st a steroid hormone, 95% by weight cholesterol. So you go on a cholesterol-restricted diet, you take cholesterol-lowering drugs. Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem here. Then they come up with Viagra and all this stuff, right? But essentially, all you had to do is eat six eggs a day. And, and they almost killed you on eggs. They said it's not good for you. Raises your cholesterol. The yellow is bad. Blah, 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 all that. Pastor Benny, doctors only live to be 56 according to their own survey. Why would we listen to them? <laughs> they say don't use salt. They live to be 56. God says use You're salt. You're funny, dog. I'm if telling God you, says wow. use salt and God is forever. I'm going with God. God said use salt. But yes. salt is still bad for your no, body. It's not. No, it's not. Well, a lot of it is. No, it's not. No, it's not, sir. Doc, I'm... It's I've never had anyone nutrient. like you, but uh, but salt raises your blood. No, sir, it doesn't. What do you mean it doesn't? It doesn't. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I say they bet on the wrong horse. The people bet on the wrong horse. Are you telling me that salt does not raise your blood pressure? That's correct, sir. It does not raise blood pressure. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What, what raises your blood pressure then? It's actually a mineral deficiency or kidney failure, one or the other. 95% of the time it's a mineral deficiency, 5% of the time How it's How come nobody failure. says things that you said? Well, I mean, I've, <laughs> what makes I'm, me different? I'm That's hearing new question. stuff from you. You've helped millions of people. Yes, sir. You've helped uh, that gentleman with his knees. What was his name again? The mayor of Atlanta. Oh, Andy Young. And Andrew Young. Civil you, rights you, movement. Yeah. yeah, you, 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 you rebuilt fixed his, his knees. Knee, you rebuilt his knees. He didn't have to have an operation. No, sir. He canceled you, his double knee surgery. He was already scheduled. He canceled it. That was 21 and, years ago. And Creflo Dollar's daughter, daughter got rid of her asthma. You helped her with her asthma, yes. and now I guess she's cured. Asthma-free, yes, sir. She's, she's asthma-free. Yes. I mean, I heard about this wonderful doctor from people. I said, I, you know, because I never heard of Dr. Wallach. And I had him here a few weeks ago, and dear goodness, the phones began ringing here wild. I have Go ahead and talk I have another one for you. Have okay. you ever heard of kidney failure? You need dialysis? Listen, listen. I know a young man in his 20s. Both of his kidneys stopped recently. I think he's doing better now, and it's a... It's a it was a shock to me that why would a 20-something-year-old lose his kidneys? Well, eating fried foods not supplementing properly. So I have a wonderful story for you. This is a God story. Please tell me. There's a man by the name of Tug. That's his nickname, is Tug, T-U-G, like a tugboat. 
Right. He's 87 years old, and since he was 14, he'd ne he hadn't urinated. He's been on dialysis for like 73 years. Wow. And we got him on our program for kidney failure. In two weeks' time, he's urinating. In two more weeks' time, he's totally off of dialysis. He's been on dialysis six days a week for 73 years. And in less My than a month, goodness. he's off of dialysis. This how is, did you do that? Well, this is a God thing, right? This I know, God. but how did, you, how did God use you? Well, we gave him the 90 essential nutrients. We actually have uh, one, what we call the secret sauce, for getting blood flow through little blocked arteries. Well, when you have kidney failure, there's nothing wrong with your kidney. That seems like an oxymoron or a paradox. When there's nothing wrong with there's it. There's nothing wrong with your kidneys. Then why, why kidney did it failure. fail? Well, remember, I'm a pathologist, and so um, surgeons would bring me kidneys. They'd take out of somebody with kidney failure, and I'd look at them and say, these are normal. Why'd you take them out? they say, he's got a kidney failure. Well, it turns out there's nothing wrong with your kidney when you have kidney failure. What happens is the little microscopic arteries that carry the dirty blood into the filtering units mm. are plugged. So your kidney function goes down, not because there's anything wrong with the kidney. It's just the dirty blood is not being delivered. Wow. So we get the circulation going in the kidney. I have a family member mm -hmm. who, who they, they, they say may have to have a, a kidney transplant. Probably not. We mean probably not. Well, give me 90 days and we'll see. I'll call and, and you can help him? Yes. He's, okay. a, he's a young man. He's related to me. Huh? We do this thousands of times a year. That you can prevent someone from having a kidney transplant? We get them off of dialysis, absolutely, because there's nothing wrong with the kidney most of the time. Doc, put your hands on this Bible. Yes, sir. You I'll promise that hands. you can. Wait a minute. I've never done this on This Is Your Day. You're putting your hands on the Word of both God. Hands. And you're telling me that you can help this young man that I know yes, sir. in my family where he doesn't have to lose his kidneys or kidney right now, one kidney, with what you're going to do for him. He has one good kidney, one bad kidney? I think so. Okay, that's easy. That's this is the God stuff, right? Okay, you, you, now you put your hand Both on the hands, word of God hands, and you vow be, before God Almighty Absolutely. that you're telling the truth. Absolutely. I believe you. Absolutely. Wow. So what would you tell somebody who's watching? Now, how would they find you and how would you help them? Well, I would have them come through the website of your, of your program here. Okay. And they can contact me through you. Okay. Okay, because you and I are both instruments of God and so they'll be able to find you and find this program through you, and we deal with every disease. I mean, I even had Pat Boone call me a few days ago. Yeah. He said, if Dr. Wallach helped uh, uh, this, uh, you know, Andrew Young Andrew with Young. his knees, I need his help. And he I did. think you, you did talk to him, I hope. Not a yet. A few days ago. Okay, well, you will, though. Okay. But the thing that is, that's amazing is you, you've helped people like that, and now you're, 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 you're saying if they go on our website, they can find you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. You've helped thousands. Thousands. And, and things like knees, millions. Well, well, well stop. Failure, doc, doc. Millions. Yes, millions sir. of people you've helped. Fifty with? countries, Pastor Benny. Fif fif with, fifty with countries. With knees. So that knees. my mother had a knee replacement surgery. Are you telling me that you could have helped my mother? Yes, sir. Then where were you? <laughs> where were you three years ago? Oh, poor, my poor mom, it took her forever to walk and get her knees back, you know, her legs where she can well, walk we, and all that. Well, we can help her because what happens is when you get a knee replacement or a hip replacement, the disease continues to deteriorate the bones. And after a while, that artificial joint they put in there begins to wallow around in there and cause more pain. They say, well, we've got to redo it now. They say these things will yeah, last. Yeah, it's actually time. happening now to her. Well, we can fix that so that bone will but grab But she's, she's 80. Doesn't matter. Three years old. Just like Tug. He was, he's 87 years old, and he was on dialysis for 73 years. And in, in a month's time, we got Doc, him off Doc, are dialysis. you for real? <laughs> well. <laughs> I know you're, you're real because you're here, but I mean, look, look. You know, I've heard so many people who've been helped by this man. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I actually have him here. Why, why would I have a doctor yeah. here if, if he's not? He hasn't helped people, and you have. You know, God has never failed me. I, you know what? I believe you. God has never failed me. Now, tomorrow we're going to talk about diabetes. Okay. And heart disease that's striking people left and right. Easy stuff. Easy stuff, you yes, say. Sir. We know how to get rid of and prevent diabetes 70 years ago. This is very easy. Doc, I am 61, okay? A mere child. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that very, very much. Give me a five, Doc. <laughs> What must I do, just before we say bye, what must I do to prevent myself from getting some heart problem? Just eat right or what? No, sir. Well, eating right is part of it. That stops the ongoing damage. But then you have to supplement with the 90 essential nutrients 
Take the secret sauce for your heart, your arteries. Now, what, what is that sec secret sauce? Well, it's the same thing that gets the blood flowing through the little blocked arteries in the kidneys. Can you talk about that tomorrow? Yes, sir. Now, it's all in your book, too, and so on. But, yes, sir, absolutely. But one more time, what, what is it? Well, it's, it's a series of minerals that are required to keep the heart going, um, to prevent it. From, see, there's all kinds of heart attacks, and none of them have anything to do with cholesterol. Cholesterol is a total lie. It's the biggest fraud ever perpetuated against the people. Of, really? Yes. Even high cholesterol? High cholesterol just means you're sexy because you get to make more sex hormones. <laughs> Why do you? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't expect that, that kind of answer. Oh, that's uh, true. <laughs> as God is my witness. Okay, I believe you. But I mean, when they have high cholesterol. Did Jesus ever say, don't eat eggs? No. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> but I mean. I'm going with Jesus. Back to, hope I can finish this program. Back to cholesterol. Mm -hmm. High cholesterol means nothing? Means nothing. See, in fact, February 2012, the FDA sent an email to every doctor in America that says, stop telling people to take cholesterol-lowering drugs wow. because it increases your risk of Alzheimer's disease by 100%, type 2 diabetes by 50 Yeah, and now they, they, you know, there's that new medicine that they want people to take that reduces cholesterol and all this stuff. And Stay you away said, from it. Yeah. Do not take it. Fire your doctor. <laughs> Bet on God, don't bet on the doctor. Well, listen, I think we're all finding out for ourselves mm -hmm. that we need to take charge of our, our own health because doctors disagree with each other so much, they confuse you so much, and then when they tell you what drug to take, they, they tell you that these side effects that can kill you. Pastor Benny, they never take their own drugs. But we must say, doctors have helped a lot of good people. There's a lot of wonderful doctors out there that have helped a lot of good people. That's true. But, but what? Well, um, I think the way to make doctors all good is we should test them every time they go into the hospital for, you know, to, to start their work day. They should have a urine test and a breathalyzer test just like they do for athletes that win gold medals. Every day when they go in and after lunch they should do it. Well, I would say they've helped a lot of people because look at the good surgeries they've done, the surgeons yeah, and so the on. Emergency the room. people out there. But I, yet I, I agree in many, in many cases, you know, we, we haven't been helped because we have not taken charge of our own health and life. And I think it's time to say, okay, it's my body, it's my life, it's my future. I want to take care of it myself and make sure I eat right and know what to do with it. But that's not enough. Well, that's why you're here to, to also help us with the what else can we do with when you say it's not enough. Okay, now. Your, your, how will your book help people? Now, your book and CD. Now, your CD, you said millions have been helped. 200 million people have listened to that CD. What's on it? Uh, that teaches you, and there, there's tracks on there. You can pick, you don't have to listen to the whole thing. You just go to diabetes. You go to arthritis. You go to Alzheimer's disease. It tells you what to do for each of those diseases. Then you, if you're interested, you can go back and listen to the beginning. The book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, covers over 400 diseases in the appendix, alphabetical order. So this will show you what? The book will show you what? Uh, what to do for a, just about any disease you can think of in the appendix. How to fix it? Yes, sir. How to prevent it and how to fix it. 